this video we're going to have a little bit of fun. We'll just uh, change a percent to a fraction in lowest terms. Here's page. We'll do three pages. Here's page one. These examples. Uh, page two. Uh, these examples. Page three. These examples. Okay. So let's start with page one. And lots of fun to be had here. Fifty percent. I want you to write that as a fraction first of all. Write that as a fraction. Fifty divided by one hundred. Right. Fifty per hundred. And um, one thing to to learn from things like this is: look, if you divide the top and bottom by ten this becomes 5 and that becomes 10. So 50 divided by you know 10 is just 5, 100 divided by 10 is just 10. In other words you can just cross off a couple of zeros like that. And now put this in lowest terms again. Five and a five goes once, five and a ten goes twice, right? So you get one over two. So please do this one, 90% write it as a fraction and then put the fraction in the lowest terms. <coughs> so it's going to be 90 per divided by cent, 100, right? And in lowest terms what's that? Well you can just cross off a couple of zeros and get 9 over 10, right? Because you divided the top and bottom by 10. 80%. Do this one. 80%. 80 per 100, right? And what does that give? And by all means, go faster than me if you can, finish off the page and then skip ahead on the video, right? Once again, you can just cross off a couple of zeros, get 8 over 10, and 2 to 8, 4 times, 2 to 10, 5 times, 4 over 5, right? How about 20%? So press pause if you need to and finish these off please press pause and do all these and then I'll do them okay okay I'm gonna do them now really quickly hope you press pause hope you press pause 20 percent is 20 over 100 and I can cross off a couple of zeros and that gives me 2 over 10 2 into 2 goes once 2 into 10 goes 5 times and that gives me 1 over 5 1 fifth now I want you to know something about these. 80% plus 20%, um, let me show you, 80% plus 20% is 100%, isn't it? Or 1. 100% is the same thing as 1, right? Now, 80% you said is 4 fifths, and 20% is 1 fifth. What's 4 fifths plus 1 fifth? Five fifths and five fifths is one, isn't it? So watch out for things like this. All right, twenty-five percent is twenty-five per hundred. Okay. Now you can do twenty-five into twenty-five goes once. Twenty-five into a hundred goes four times, and so I get one quarter. Seventy-five percent is seventy-five over one hundred. Press pause and do this if you don't have it yet. Twenty-five into seventy-five goes three times. Twenty-five into a hundred goes four times. So that is three quarters. And once again, just for fun, you might say, okay, seventy-five percent of people own a car in a town. 25% of people do not. So is the people that own a car, people that don't own a car, adults that don't own a car, let's say. And that makes 100%. 100% 100 
or one, the whole town, all of the town, all the adults in the town, okay? Now, 75%, you said, is three quarters. So you could say, okay, three quarters of the people in the, in the town, of the adults in the town own a car, one quarter of the adults in the town do not own a car. And again, one, three quarters, the three quarters that own a car plus the one quarter do not own a car, at least one car, makes four quarters, okay? Which is one, the whole town, right? So percentage is, is you can see how it, it'll be used just like a fraction, right? Three quarters of people, seventy-five percent of people, that type of thing, right? Okay, five percent. Write that as a fraction. Five percent. Is five per cent, which means hundred. Five over a hundred. Put that in lowest terms. Let's see, 5 and a 5 goes once, 5 and a 10 goes twice, 5 and a 0 goes 0 times, 1 over 20, right? 1%. Do 1%, then do 2%. Please press pause and do 1% and 2%, then I'll do it. Okay, 1% is one per hundred. Can you put that in lowest terms? No, it's already in lowest terms. We're already done. Two percent. Two per hundred. And put that in lowest terms, what do you get? Two into two goes once, two to ten goes five times, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, 1 over 50. So if 2% uh, of people own a parrot, that is 1 in every 50. 1 out of every 50 people own a parrot, type of thing, right? That's what 2% means. 2 per 100, 1 in 50, 1 out of every 50, right? Okay, 36.2% is 36.2 per 100, okay? And I'm thinking we might need that skill that we practiced earlier. Uh, we've got to multiply this by something so that we have a whole number on the top, okay? So what do I, if I have 36.2, what do I multiply it by to turn it into a whole number on the top? How about 10, right? And multiply the bottom by 10. So 36.2 times 10 is 362. And 100 times 10 is 1,000. Okay. <coughs> and now we have an even number on the top and bottom. So we can divide top and bottom by 2, right? 2 into 3 goes once, remainder 1. 2 into 16 goes eight times, two into two goes once, two into ten goes five times, two into zero, zero times, two into zero, zero times. One, eight, one over five hundred. Okay? And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's probably it. So that's lowest terms right there. How about 2.4%? By all means, press pause and try this one yourself if you like. I'll do it slowly anyway. So 2.4% is 2.4 divided by 100, right? Per 100 per cent. Now if I want to multiply this by something so that I get a whole number on the top, what do I do? Turn 2.4 into a whole number. What do you multiply it by? Multiply it by 10, right? And same in the bottom, right? So 2.4 times 10 is 24. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 
and now put that in lowest terms. So we can go 2 into 2 goes once and 2 into 4 goes twice, right? So you get 12 on the top. And on the bottom, you can just see, look, that, look, look at 10. What's 2 into 10, right? 2 into 10, 5 times. 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0 times. So this time I get 12 over 500. Now can you simplify that even further? You know, they're both even numbers, so 2 will go into the top and bottom. But I know 4 goes into 12, and I bet you 4 goes into 500 as well. because it. So 4 into 12 goes 3 times. 4 into 5 goes once, remainder 1. Okay, 4 into 10 goes twice, remainder 2. 4 into 20 goes 5 times. So this gives me 3 over 1, 2, 5. Now you might have divided by 2 and got 6 over 250 and then got 3 over 1, 2, 5. That's okay as well. Okay. 20.75 percent. Oh my goodness. Put that as a uh, fraction in lowest terms. Well, first of all, it is 20.75 Oh, hold on a second. What am I doing? What am I doing? There's an easier way, isn't there? Look, if we just do use our trick to turn this into a decimal, you might like this way better. Turn this into a decimal, move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left, and now we have point two zero seven five. You probably be you're probably uh trying to tell me that over the computer already, weren't you? If you move the turn this into a decimal that means we have 0 0.2075 which is 2075 ten thousandths okay ten thousandths right now because this ends in a 5 and this ends in a 0 I know I've got multiples of 5 I, I can get 5 into both numbers so 5 into 2 won't go but 5 into 20 goes 4 times right 5 into 7 goes once, remainder 2. 5 into 25, 5 times. So I get 4, 1, 5 over. Now, 5 into 10 goes twice. 5 into 0, 0 times. 5 into 0, 0. 5 into 0, 0 times. 4, 1, 5 over 2,000. And this one ends in the 5, this one ends in the 0, so I can put 5 into both of those again. 5 into 41. 8 times. Remainder, 1. 5 into 15. 3 times. So that is 83 on the top. And the bottom, 5 into 20. 4 times, 5 to 0, 0 times, 5 to 0, 0 times. So 83 over 400. And you can try and do more, but I don't think you'll get any further than that. 0.35%. First of all, make life easy for ourselves. Just write this as a decimal to begin with. Turn that into a decimal. It is 0. what? 0. Point and you're going to move this to turn a percentage to a decimal you move the decimal point two spaces to the left and get point zero zero three five so point zero zero so point zero zero uh, three five is the answer there okay zero point zero zero three five which is thirty five watts well we've got units tenths hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Isn't that 35 over 10,000? Now put that in lowest terms, what do you get? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
while 5 will go into the top and bottom again because this ends in the 5 that ends in the 0 5 into 35 goes 7 times 5 into 10 goes twice 5 into 0, 0, 5 into 0, 0 times 5 into 0, 0 times so 7 over 2000 7 two thousands, and that's as far as you can get it, right? Now, page three, these guys are kind of funny. Um, two and a quarter percent. My goodness. Um, first of all, we've got to turn the improper fraction to a, or the mixed number to an improper fraction. So four times two is eight. 8 plus 1 is 9. That's 9 quarters percent. Okay? Which is 9 quarters divided by 100. Okay? Or 9 quarters divided by 100. Okay? Now, 100, of course, is the same thing as 100 over 1. So this is nine quarters. If look, if you're dividing by a hundred, it's the same thing. It's multiplying by one over one hundred, right? So all this is just shown. Look, nine quarters divided by a hundred is just nine quarters times one over a hundred, right? Nine times one is nine. Four times a hundred is four hundred. So it's nine over four hundred, right? Quite weird. Yes. Um, three and a half percent. Write it as a mixed number. Two times three is six. Six and one is seven. So that's seven over two percent, or seven over two divided by a hundred. Divided by a hundred, because that's what percent means. Divide by hundred, which of course is seven over two multiplied by the reciprocal. So if you're dividing by 100, or 100 over 1, you're multiplying by 1 over 100. And that gives you what? If you multiply fractions, just multiply the tops, and then multiply the bottoms, and then you have the answer. 7 times 1 is 7. What's 2 times 100? 200. Okay, multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, you're done, right? So now turn 66 and 2 thirds into a improper fraction. You've got to go 3 times 66 plus 2 over 3, right? Now, 3 times 66. 66 times 3. 3 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 6 is 18. And 1 is 19. So that's 198 plus 2 over 3, which is um, 200 over 3. So it's percent though, right? Percent. So what we have is 200 over 3 divided by 100 because percent means divide by 100. So that is 200 over 3 multiplied by the reciprocal which is 1 over 100. Because the 100 is 100 over 1 so the reciprocal is 1 over 100. Now, if you multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms, what do you get? <coughs> 200 times 1, 200. 3 times 100, 300. Now, put that in lowest terms. The zeros cross off, right? And you just get 2 over 3. Two thirds. So 66 and two thirds percent is two thirds, the number. Okay, this is 66 and two thirds percent, which becomes the number two thirds. Okay, what's 33 and one third percent? By all means, press pause and try it yourself, and then I'll do it really quickly, okay? So, first of all, turn it into a um, improper fraction. So we got to go 3 times 33 plus 1 over 3. 3 times 33 you'll find is 99. So we have 99 plus 1 over 3 which is 100 over 3 percent. Okay. 
which is 100 over 3 divided by 100 because that's what percent means divide by 100 <coughs> which is 100 over 3 now if I divide by 100 that's multiplying by 1 over 100 right which gives me 100 over 300 which is and you can cross off the zeros 1 over 3 1 third so 33 and one third percent is equal to the number one third. Okay, it's just equal to one third is what it is. Okay. And I guess it's really crucial to see, and this comes up a lot, that um, that. 66 and two thirds percent plus actually I'll add it here plus 33 and one third percent okay the two thirds and the one third if you add these together they will give three thirds won't they and six and three is nine and six and three is nine so I have ninety nine and three thirds or 99 plus 3 thirds, or 99 plus 1, right? That's 1, isn't it? Or 100 percent. So 66 and 2 thirds percent plus 33 and 1 third percent is equal to 100 percent, okay? So you might see sales where it says 33 and a third percent off, or 66 and 2 thirds percent off, and what that means is, and we just found 66 and 2 thirds percent is equal to just the fraction two thirds. Thirty three and a third percent equals the fraction one third. And you see if you add these guys together you just get two thirds and one third. Three thirds or the number one. Okay, and of course the number one is equal to one hundred percent, right?